I think the same things that drew me to documentary filmmaking had originally drew me to geology. There was this detective-like work where you're uncovering the past and you're predicting for a future. I, I, I think I found that very fascinating. I think I gained a better understanding of how the Earth worked and how people can affect those processes. It was the power of visual communication and its artistic potential that eventually lured me to film. Both are multidisciplinary, both require good visualization, and both will take you to some pretty amazing places. Jess, on behalf of environmental science and policy, I'm very happy to offer you this unique filmmaker in residence position. Welcome to William & Mary. Congratulations, Jess. As I begin to settle into my work here at the college, the potential I feel for this position is unmistakable, but I, I think that excitement is really justified. A filmmaker in residence at a liberal arts school is really rare, but an environmental filmmaker in residence is rather groundbreaking. It is a novel thing that's never really been tried before, but I think what we're going to find out is that there's a huge demand for this. Um, You're going to be inundated. I'm Chuck Bailey. I'm a geologist here at the college, and I've been working with a core of William & Mary students under the auspices of a U.S. Geological Survey grant. My name is Jenna Carlson. I'm a first year's master's student in the biology department, and I'll be studying flight in European starlings and how mercury affects flight. Well, I'm going to teach a new course next semester, uh, a French 151, which is the equivalent of a, friend, a freshman seminar in French. As one of the administrators of the Environmental Science and Policy Program, our website is more abound. I'm interested in working um, on possible collaborations between computer music and film music. I'm thinking about how we can incorporate video uh, into this process of collecting information while students are, do students are doing field research uh, in Russia. Specifically, what we're, we're, um, we've done and are trying to do and do better um, as part of the film festival um, is to have a documentary um, filmmaking project. So I'm going to teach my students how to analyze movies but I was hoping you would come for one or two sessions. We're very interested in working with you in trying to produce uh, not only sort of the scientific part of this, but also some video components to the results from our research. And what I was really hoping to do is to take some of these um, short video segments and maybe put them online or in a short documentary. It would really be helpful if I could have a 10 or 5 or 15 minute whatever video clip summarizing my research project here. Um, to better introduce myself to future employers or future uh, PIs so that someone that's potentially interested in working with me can actually just look at that and get a sense. Giving them an easier way to like see exactly what you're talking about and the research and the direct implications of what it could be causing potentially in the environment and then on populations in the wild. We don't need to see crocodiles attacking uh, wildebeest across streams and things like that but uh, there's some really neat things that happen locally that uh, most people do not have access to. So our website could actually provide a lot of that. Because in the end, we're trying to figure out how the world works and then how to make it a better place to live for everyone. So this is a way to keep everyone on board, I guess. <laughs>very good place to launch this kind of initiative because we're a liberal arts institution and so we're meant to have dialogue across sciences, social sciences and humanities and that's exactly what this position is going to do. So to do this at the undergraduate level I feel is, is revolutionary.